Well, at the Lord Mayor's uh, banquet last night, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak saying the golden era of UK-Chinese relations over and that the UK had to evolve its approach to China. But his speech has been attracting criticism. Tory MP and former party uh, leader, of course, Ian Duncan-Smith, uh, likening some of those uh, remarks uh, on China as close to appeasement. Well, joining us now is uh, our political reporter, Olivia Utley. And, uh, Olivia, just in terms of what Ian Duncan-Smith has been saying, he's also reacted to those comments in the uh, Commons there uh, by David Rutley. Um, picking up on that uh, phrase, systemic challenge, when he says it should really be treated as a systemic threat. Yes, and he says that calling China a competitor is a euphemism and that if we continue to... He says, essentially, that although Rishi Sunak was very strong on his rhetoric about leaving the golden age behind him, which was a clear sort of dig at George Osborne, actually, his new strategy is one which seems to involve working quite closely with China. Uh, he talks about a long-term view of China, understanding that China is uh, an important part of our you know, international future bit of a fudge and very, very different from the Rishi Sunak that we saw over the yeah. summer leadership campaign when he went all guns blazing on how China was this huge systemic threat. So people like Ian Duncan Smith, and let's remember, Ian Duncan Smith still holds a lot of sway among conservative bank benches. There is a big caucus of anti-China conservative MPs led by Ian Duncan Smith. And if he's making these sort of noises, it suggests that there's probably a lot of displeasure on the conservative back benches about what seems to be uh, a different sort of strategy on China than either Liz Truss or Boris Johnson yeah, was and of course, following. Uh, this man Xi Jinping, the president now uh, having to cope with all these uh, protests uh, across the Chinese cities, the uh, uh, particular problems in Shanghai and Beijing, although they seem to have quietened down with all the police action at the moment. But here we've got the Chinese ambassador being summoned um, after the treatment of this BBC journalist, Ed Lawrence. Um, and, and that may well be some kind of focus for all these backbenchers, saying, look, we really need to be a lot harder with the Chinese. Yeah, definitely. I think this has sort of focused minds. That said, Ian Duncan Smith's mind is... Oh, it's pretty, it's pretty focused, focused on China. Pretty true, yeah. um, uh, and, of course, these protests aren't, aren't by any means the first sort of uprising that we've seen in China. And Ian Duncan Smith has been very strong on this ever since um, the Uyghur Muslim mm. scandal started to break. Um, so Rishi Sunak, if he does pursue a more China-friendly policy, is going to have Ian Duncan Smith and, as I say, this quite large caucus of Conservative MPs knocking on his door over and over again, which will make it quite difficult for him to push ahead with any any sort of pro-China, as no. it were, policy.